hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is desmond and in my today's tutorial i'll be taking you through some few basics in cobo collect for those of you who might be wondering what is cobo collect then cobo collect is basically a digital software or a smartphone application that it is used for co data collection it is more suitable for collecting data in most challenging environments once data is collected, it is transmitted online directly to the main server. For those of you who are project staffs, researchers, or research students, project managers, or maybe you are an implementation partner, or maybe you intend to uh, take an online survey, or maybe you will collect some data in future then this tutorial is for you so first of all let's go directly to the setups and uh, in the setup you will require a search uh, a browser or a while on the browser you will you will be required to enter the url cobo2box.org then you hit enter it will directly take you to this page uh, where you have to sign up or you have to create a new account so Kobo collect is free so hit sign up then uh, you will notice that uh, on this dash, dash, dashboard uh, we have two different uh, uh, servers so the first server to your left side is uh, called the unlimited use for humanitarian organization or the humanitarian organization servers then the one to your right is uh, known as the research aid workers or every everyone else so in this tutorial i will advise uh, maybe you use the one on the, your left side it is important so the difference between these two servers is that uh, uh, the one which is uh, a humanitarian server has no limit for submission it has unlimited data storage and you can create as many projects as possible so the number of projects have no limit the one on your right hand side which is the research or aid workers and everyone else server uh, it is also free but uh, uh, the submissions per month are limited to 10,000 the the storage uh, is limited to 5 GB uh, every month so but uh, the number of projects are also unlimited uh, like the other one both of them are free to use so let's uh, hit the create uh, an account button for those who don't have an account and for those who uh, already have an account uh, we shall come to login so let's start by creating an account so it will take you to this interface whereby uh, you will be required to fill some few uh, details here so uh, you will have to write your name you can as well choose to write your name or anything or you can leave it blank the way it is and uh, for the organization uh, for the organization you can also write your organization or you can as well leave it blank if you don't have any organization for the username is mandatory you must write your username there. then for the email address it is also mandatory so this means that uh, the username and the email address uh, are mandatory and also the password is mandatory so for the username you can write anything so for me i'll write my name uh, for the email address you can write uh, you can write uh, your email address your active email address at gmail.com so i'm using a gmail you can use any 
for the sector you can select your sector or leave it blank the way it is for my case i belong to the health sector so you can select for the country you will have to select uh, the country that you belong for my case i'm from i'm from kenya so i'll have to search for kenya so i'll have to search for kenya this is good uh, Kenya uh, there it is then for the gender you can select your gender uh, if you're a male you can hit the male if you're a female you can hit the male. or you can also select other if you do. so for the password you it has to be in small letters and uh, it should be strong the password should be strong so you can uh, see the line at the bottom of this uh, uh, box, password box, uh, it is indicating the color of your strength. So let's uh, let's write uh, the password. So if your password is weak, automatically the color will indicate red. And if uh, it gets stronger, the color changes uh, to orange. And uh, it gets it indicates green if you are uh, it is strong and. Uh, very strong it will show blue so you will have to repeat the same password here uh, you'll have to repeat the same password then you hit the create but uh, create account button so it will take you directly uh, to no an email will be sent to your a mail will be sent to your email inbox uh, sometimes you will notice that uh, that mail uh, is not sent to your email for some accounts so for those of you who uh, would have waited for maybe longer than two minutes without uh, saying their mail you can check at the spam box and uh, you will find it there so let's go there so I'm um, in my I'm in my account and uh, on this dashboard you'll notice that uh, we have some few the data element here so we have the new we have the deployed draft and archived then we also have the projects and library and also uh, on the to your far right you will notice that we have the profile button if you hit the profile button you will see your username and the uh, email address so you will also notice that uh, you can change uh, your language here you can also log out here if uh, you are done uh, so let's go straight to the new project we have to hit the new new button in order to create uh, our new project so on this dashboard you notice that we have the these four new elements here so there is build from scratch upload an xls form import an xls form by url use template so uh, we are told that uh, choose one of the options below to continue you will be prompted to enter the name and other details in further steps so uh, if you want to build your project from scratch you will have to use, select this one. for xls form uh, kindly don't uh, kindly hit the subscribe button i will upload a video and show you on how you can upload your uh, xls form how to create an xls form and how you can upload it and how you can import an xls form by url and also how you can use the template so we shall come to that so let's begin our new project so i'll build from scratch so here we are required to enter the name of our project and uh, our project will be on uh, maybe water points so water points we want to collect data on water points in uh, maybe my locality water points let's use uh, the caps water points in Tudor. so the description will be 
water points uh, then the sector you can select any sector that uh, you are in for the country you can select your country so you can choose to check in this uh, checkbox or you can as well leave it that way blank so here you have created your first project now let's go to the questions so we want uh, in our first question we want to know maybe the date when the data was collected so so our data collector will be prompted to select the date when this data was collect collected so i will write uh, maybe today's today's date uh, then on my right hand you can see we have add question so if you click on add questions on this interface you will see that we have a number of um, different data elements or uh, data sets so we have uh, to know where the date falls and uh, we here we have date and here we have date and time so we only want the date we don't want maybe date and time so we shall select uh, date and uh, we have created uh, our first question successfully so we go to the next question and in our next question we want to know uh, the village where this data was collected so I only have three villages here so village I will indicate village so the village where this data was collected so on the add question uh, so our data collector will have to select one village so uh, we have select one for the choices multiple choice uh, so my first village is uh, Manyimbo and uh, my second village is uh, uh, Kachonjo and my third village is uh, uh, Moroto so we only have three villages uh. then on my right hand side you will notice that um, uh, there is a uh, it is indicated an XML value so we shall give it one two and three so this XML value is uh, important especially when you want to analyze data uh, uh, maybe in future you want uh, this data to be analyzed on SPSS or any other package so uh, uh, we shall come to this when I will make that video on SPSS kindly don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, tune in to my channel so that uh, uh, you will get it on how we shall use the XML values for our choices so so let's go to the next question and in our next question uh, we want to know the name of this water point so we shall have name of water point so in this question it is you notice that it is an open question and our data collector is not res restricted maybe to select choices or not so they will just indicate uh, the name and here we shall select text so we go to the next question and in our next question we want to know the source of water so we have source of water so for the source of water we shall have uh, three choices here and in my so we shall have to select one so in my choices I have tap maybe the source of water is tap and uh, the second source is um, uh, maybe the borehole maybe the borehole uh, maybe our next source is a borehole so then we also have other so maybe uh, there might be any other source that uh, 
we haven't mentioned and so uh, the data collector will have to select other so on our xml values we give it this one this is two and this is three so you will notice that uh, if our data collector uh, selects other it means that uh, maybe they want to give us another source so i will not limit them so our next question will be directly linked to these uh, current question of the source of water so uh, for if it will cater uh, if uh, maybe the data collector selected other so we shall have the question uh, indicated as if other uh, kindly state say so in this question uh, we shall have to give them freedom to state it so it is a text so what you shall do you shall go to the uh, right corner of this checkbox and uh, of this box and uh, you will see a setting icon so you will have to tap on the setting icon and uh, uh, you will have this interface here on the right hand side you see the settings the questions option the skip logic and data validation criteria then here we have the data column name then the we have the guidance hint we have the mandatory response mandatory response so if this question is a must to be answered we select yes and uh, maybe it is an optional question and that's why you see it is no then you can custom logic it uh, then you can use the hexadecimal values here uh, to create tags and attributes and uh, uh, i will have to give you a video on how to use all these so here we shall select on skip logic and uh, then we go to add a condition so we have to add a condition that uh, if maybe the respondent selected other other source in the previous question uh, which is, is equal you see the is equal sign here uh, then uh, this is other then automatically this question must pop out right so we go to the next question so you can click here cancel so we go to the next question so uh, remember that if if other kindly state question will only appear if uh, in the source of water choice was other but if the data collector uh, may be selected tap or bohol then this if other kindly state will not uh, appear that question won't appear so we shall see it uh, once we finish with uh, uh, our form building our form so we go to the next question and uh, maybe we want to know the approximate number of people uh, per day who fetch water at this water point so we we shall indicate um, uh, approximate number of people who fetch water at this water point at this water point so we want to know maybe the number but alternatively uh maybe if you want uh, instead of uh, using instead of using at uh, this water point maybe you want uh, the name of water point to appear in these questions uh, in uh, in the in the current question then uh, there is also an option so there is an option for that maybe we wanted uh, uh, to let's see the name of the water point so we shall go to this uh, to this back to this question on the uh, name of water pointer 
this one then we shall go to setting and see maybe uh, we want the name here we shall copy that uh, that one then we shall go to uh, these uh, part of the question which uh, indicate that what is the approximate number of people who will fetch water at this at so instead of completing that sentence we shall use uh, this parameter uh, dollar sign uh, this is a curly bracket then you shall paste uh, what you copied uh, from the other question on the name of water point then you close it with another another curly bracket uh, then you leave it at that point huh? so you want maybe the name of the water point to be mentioned uh, in this question so this is how you put it so what is the approximate number of people who fetch water at maybe mama ali's water point maybe the so we shall have that specific name uh, will appear uh, at this question. So what is the approximate number of uh, people who fetch water at these water points? So we add another question. So uh, we want the number and uh, this is the right option for number. So let's go to the next question. And in the next question, uh, we want to know whether this water is safe or not. So we shall ask is this uh, is a uh, is a uh, water safe? Uh, no, we shall indicate that is this water safe? So these are multiple choice question. Uh, and it is a yes or no question so we only have two choices yes and no so in the xml value of course we have one and two so we go to the next questions the next question so we want to know uh, maybe the ownership of these uh, water point uh, maybe we want to know the ownership of this water point so who owns uh, who exactly owned, owns this water point now the question will be who owns who is the owner of this water point with the on of this water point so we shall have some few choices here and in my first choice I have maybe it is government owned and in my second choice we have Maybe it is a uh, private uh, owned, and uh, in my th uh, third choice, I have maybe it is owned by an governmental organization. In my fourth choice, I have a faith-based organization, an FBO, or maybe it is owned by the community members this is community members and in my final choice I have other so uh, in our XML values you can only you just double tap then you replace automatic with the uh, a numerical value this is five and this is six so these are six choices so of course we can repeat the same 
for maybe our respondent indicated uh, maybe another uh, maybe owner or we can just leave it that way so let's go to the next question and uh, in the next question uh, we want to see how frequent uh, maybe uh, how frequent uh, is water available at these water points so uh, how frequent uh, do you receive Uh, how frequent do you receive water at these uh, water point? So maybe uh, so we have some few choices here. Uh, maybe let's say that uh, maybe in a week uh, how frequent do you receive water at this water point in a week so maybe a week has so a week has seven days so we want to know how frequent uh, uh, they receive water this water point maybe they receive only once so maybe the responded will indicate that uh, they only receive water at this water point once or maybe twice uh, or maybe thrice then more than three times times a week more than three times a week so in our XML values we double tap uh, then we have our choices there so we move to the next question so in my next question uh, maybe I want uh, uh to capture the location of these water points so what i do is uh, uh i will insert a question capture maybe capture the location capture the location so i will have to look where the location is and uh, actually here we have the point and uh, I think this is uh, yeah, this is uh, the location. So in uh, the next question, I want uh, maybe the data collector to capture the image of this uh, water point. The image of this water point. So we have to capture the image of this water point and uh, in this case we only need a photo so we select photo uh, then uh, I think those are, are our questions for our beginning this is our uh, first tutorial I mean so uh, if you want to collapse uh, these, uh, I mean, these uh, uh, questions so that uh, I think uh, it gives you uh, a nice look, you can uh, simply just, uh, you see uh, this uh, arrow, you can just click it and uh, you collapse. For this one, you hit the cancel, this one, you click the arrow, then uh, you would have collapsed. The, uh, so the simplest way is just uh, um, you see on this uh, far left hand side uh, we we have the preview form we have the expand and collapse que questions and we also have the inside the cascading uh, 
select uh, so for the cascading select uh, I'll have to show you on how to capture questions by insert, inserting a cascading select so for this we have to call up the questions you will notice that uh, uh, down here all the questions have collapsed and uh, uh, can now be viewed well so we want to preview our form so we will have to hit uh, on this icon i icon it is a preview form first of all let us save our project so you will only need to tap on save so it is uh, down uh, here you will see it is successfully updated so it is successfully updated so we want to preview our questions and this is how maybe the data collector will view them so you can see our title appears at the top here and uh, uh, this was our first question capture today's so today's date so the data collector will simply tap here and uh, ju you, he or she will see a calendar will appear it will pop up so and uh, they will have to select uh, maybe today's date it is already marked here maybe it is 30th if you just hit that uh, 30th then you see it indicates uh, the today's date so i'll also show you on how uh, the interface of this questionnaire uh, in the mobile phone once i deployed i deployed so for the villages you see you can select maybe we uh, the data collector is in kachonjo or moroto or manimbo they will simply hit uh, select one so for the name of the water point so you noted that uh, they can uh, manually write uh, the name maybe mama ali so this is mama ali's water point so so we write mama ali manually so for the source maybe it is a uh, tap or maybe bohol or maybe it is it might be other so if you select other you'll notice that uh, the if other kindly state question will appear but it, if it is for ball or tap it disappears it doesn't appear then we go to the next question approximate number of people who fetch water at mamalis now uh, i think uh, this way you need to note you'll notice that uh, uh, at this point it has captured mamali uh, Mama Ali's name and uh, it will depend with the name that you insert in if I maybe I want to insert another name you will notice that uh, in this question uh, it changes the name so previously I had indicated Mama Ali and now I, I have indicated Desmond you notice that uh, the name has changed uh, approximate the number of people who fetch water at Mamali's place. No, now we want to know maybe the number of people who fetch water. Maybe uh, there are 20 people who fetch water at Mamali's uh, water point or Desmond's water point. Uh, then in the next question, we want to know if this water is safe. So maybe the respondent uh, answered that the water is safe. So you will indicate yes. Then uh, who is the owner of this water point? Now this question was uh, about the ownership of uh, the water point. It is owned by uh, this a private entity. Uh, maybe uh, it is owned by an individual. Now it is owned by a private. Or maybe if it is owned by a faith-based organization, you can select one so we also have other sets of questions like for select multiple which are uh, required uh, maybe the responded to uh, to maybe uh, click on different uh, checkbox at the same time but uh, this time we only have these uh, select one so in my upcoming tutorials i will show you on how 
uh, to uh, insert or uh, enter such uh, questions. So how frequent do you receive what at this water point in a week? So maybe the respondent say that uh, answer that uh, uh, we only received receive water once uh, in a week. So you will have to select once or maybe more than three times a week. So you'll have to uh, see that. Then capture the location. So for the location on a mobile view, this is a computer interface. For the mobile view, uh, uh, it will just simply pop up and I'll show you the mobile view uh, right in the next video. For the so it will indicate the longitude and latitudes it will capture the length and also the altitude and the accuracy so in uh, my upcoming videos i will show you on how uh, to restrict maybe the accuracy so you simply uh, know that uh, you understand that uh, the accuracy for you to capture the most accurate uh, location then the di distance has to be less than 10 meters or maybe five meters so i'll show you mm, how to restrict maybe for the data uh, collector uh, to come up with uh, a more accurate location for the uh, capture the image maybe we wanted to get the photo of uh, mom, uh, maybe mamali's water point then we shall simply tap this uh, button and uh, the the camera will pop up then we we shall have to capture the the photo of that water point so uh while i'm creating i can validate this uh, questionnaire to know whether these questions are valid or not uh, then i'll simply hit uh, uh this valid uh, button and you see uh it indicates that the form is valid and uh, this means that it is ready to be deployed. It has no any error. So I'll save it. Then uh, we'll click the X. Then I want to deploy my uh, my questionnaire, my form. So it is saved under draft. So I'll simply hit the deploy and it is now deployed. So it has moved from draft to deployed. So this means that uh, this data can be captured um, using a smartphone or a mobile phone uh, in the field by the data collectors. So in my next tutorial, uh, I'll be showing you on how I'll be collecting my data using uh, this for our first uh, form that I've just created uh, right now. So in my upcoming videos, I will uh, also show you how to set different parameters such as uh, the image size requirement in pixels. Uh, I, will, I will also show you how to calculate to make calculations i will also show you how to set relevance relevance in questions or maybe you have a question that uh, uh, was only to be answered by a female or a male person only so for example you have a question like uh, are you pregnant so you cannot ask uh, a male person that uh, whether <laughs> the person is pregnant or not so it will simply skip it it is also known as skip logic relevance or skip logic how to the complex skip logic so how to create uh, XLS forms and uploading and editing them working with uh, complex uh, choice filters I'll show you how to create household registers with multiple respondents. Uh, I, will also, I will also show you working on uh, maps. So you will notice that uh, in, our, in our current form, 
we have uh, simply collected the location now i'll show you how to work on maps also so simply subscribe hit the su subscribe button for you uh, not to miss all those content uh, thank you